It is members of the College of Cardinals and prominent archbishops that make up the Roman Curia in Vatican City. The Roman Curia comprises the administrative institutions of the Holy See and the central body through which the affairs of the Roman Catholic Church are conducted. The Roman Curia is the institution which the Roman Pontiff ordinarily makes use of his supreme pastoral office and universal mission in the world. It is at the service of the Pope and of the bishops, according to the modalities that are proper to the nature of each one, fulfilling their function with an evangelical spirit, working for the good and at the service of communion, unity and edification of the universal church. The structure and organization of responsibilities within the Curia are at present regulated by the Apostolic Constitution, Predicate Evangelium issued by Pope Francis on March 19, 2022. Let's take a look at the different dicasteries of the Roman Curia and who the Pope has appointed to take charge. The Dicastery for Evangelization is competent for the fundamental questions of evangelization in the world and for the establishment, accompaniment, and support of the new particular churches. It is made up of two sections. First is the section for fundamental issues in world evangelization. It is the task of this section to study the fundamental questions of evangelization by identifying appropriate forms, instruments, and language. The section gathers the most significant experiences in the field of evangelization, making them available to the entire church. It encourages reflection on the history of evangelization and mission, especially in their relationship to the political, social, and cultural events that have marked and conditioned the preaching of the gospel. The current pro-prefect is Archbishop Salvatore Fisichella. Fisichella is related to the so-named Italian noble family, forming part of the Sicilian nobility, and his ecclesiastical coat of arms is inspired by the family arms. Holding the title of Archbishop, Fisichella is not a member of the College of Cardinals. The second part of the Dicastery for Evangelization is the section for first evangelization and the new particular churches. This section supports the proclamation of the gospel and the deepening of the life of faith in the territories of first evangelization and deals with everything that concerns the erection of ecclesiastical circumscriptions or their modifications, as well as their provisioning. The section supports the new particular churches in the work of first evangelization and growth, collaborating with the particular churches, episcopal conferences, institutes of consecrated life, societies of apostolic life, associations, ecclesial movements, new communities, and ecclesial assistance agencies. To this section are entrusted the Pontifical Missionary Societies, the Pontifical Society for the Propagation of the Faith, the Pontifical Society of St. Peter the Apostle, the Pontifical Society of the Missionary Childhood, and the Pontifical Missionary Union, as instruments for the promotion of the missionary responsibility of every baptized person and for the support of the new particular churches. The current pro-prefect is Cardinal Luis Antonio Goquim Tagli. Tagli was the 32nd Archbishop of Manila from 2011 to 2020 and is the Cardinal Bishop of San Felice de Cantalice, a Centocel, and also serves as the President of the Catholic Biblical Federation and Grand Chancellor of the Pontifical Urbaniana University. Tagli is often seen as a representative of the Catholic Church's progressive wing. Having criticized the Catholic Church for using harsh words to describe LGBT people as well as divorced and remarried Catholics, whom he believes should be allowed to receive Holy Communion on a case-by-case -case basis. Next, we take a look at the Dicastery for the Service of Charity. Serving the poor, the vulnerable, and the excluded, this Dicastery operates in any part of the world the work of assistance and help towards the needy in the name of the Roman Pontiff, who in cases of particular indigence or other need, personally arranges the aid to be allocated. The Dicastery, under the guidance of the Prefect, makes concrete, through its activity, the solicitude and closeness of the Roman Pontiff, as pastor of the Universal Church, towards those who live in situations of indigence, marginalization, or poverty, as well as on the occasion of serious calamities. Formerly the Office of Papal Charities, the change gives the office a more significant role in the Curia. The current prefect is Cardinal Konrad Krajewski. Pope Francis made him a cardinal in June 2018, assigning him the titular church of Santa Maria Immacolata all'Esquilino. Cardinal Krajewski has visited homes for the elderly and distributed funds to the needy. 
He spent four days on the island of Lampedusa after a migrant boat carrying Eritreans capsized, praying with police divers as they worked to raise the dead from the sea floor. In June 2015, Cardinal Krajewski announced plans for a 30-bed, volunteer-run dormitory for the homeless near the Vatican. Krajewski said the entire initiative was aimed at giving people their dignity. In May 2019, Krajewski climbed down a manhole cover in a Rome street to break a seal and switch back on the electricity supply to a building where 450 people were squatting, including 100 children, thereby restoring power and hot water which they had been without for five days. Next up is the Dicastery for Divine Worship and the Discipline of the Sacraments. This dicastery promotes the sacred liturgy, according to the renewal undertaken by the Second Vatican Council. The spheres of its competence concern all that pertains to the Apostolic See concerning the regulation and promotion of the sacred liturgy and the vigilance that the laws of the Church and the liturgical norms are everywhere faithfully observed. It is the task of the dicastery to provide for the editing or revision and updating of typical editions of liturgical books. It also grants recognition to the particular calendars, the proprieties of masses and of the liturgy of the hours of the particular churches. It is concerned with the regulation and discipline of the sacred liturgy with regard to the extraordinary form of the Roman rite and for the protection of the sacred relics, the confirmation of the patrons and the granting of the title of minor basilica. The current prefect is Cardinal Arthur Roche. Before his service in the Roman Curia, Roche was Bishop of Leeds from 2004 to 2012. He was appointed an Archbishop when he joined the Roman Curia in 2012 and in August 2022, Pope Francis elevated him to the College of Cardinals. A few months into Roche's tenure as Prefect, Pope Francis issued the Motu Proprio, Traditionis Custodis, which severely restricted the celebration of Mass according to the Missal of 1962, more commonly known as the traditional Latin Mass. Roche and his congregation were tasked with implementing the Motu Proprio. In December 2021, Roche issued a Responsa ad Dubia concerning Traditionis Custodes. In this document, restrictions were clarified, including restrictions on the celebration of sacraments according to the Old Rite and a total ban on the celebration of the sacraments of holy orders according to the Old Rite. Roche has also stated that the promotion of the traditional Latin Mass has been curtailed and that the permission to celebrate the Old Rite is a concession being made to those who are attached to the Old Rite, but is not an opportunity for the Old Rite to be promoted.